All right, document set up. In order to get to the document setup dialog, you can either hit Command Option P or you can go up to File Document Setup. All right, now once we get in here, you'll notice three main sections, bleed and view, transparency, and type. Starting at the top, you can change your units here, or to get directly to the unit thing, you can just hit command comma, and that'll open up the preferences and get you right there. But back to document setup, um, you got your bleed options. Uh, if you know you need bleed, you can set them here if you didn't already when you opened up the document. Uh, edit artboards, this is kind of not very useful because all it does is take you to this tool over here, the artboard tool. Okay, now these options. Whenever you're in outline mode, if you don't have this clicked, you'll just see a square. Um, so if you want to see your images in outline mode, click that. If you don't use outline mode, don't worry about it. Okay, if you're working with a document that you didn't create on this computer, um you are going to want to know if the fonts are just showing a default font or if it's the font that you want. So it's a good thing to click these if you're working with somebody else's document or something that you made on a different computer. All right, so transparency. If you change the grid size, you'll see I'm going to hit Command Shift D. You'll see, ooh, they're so small. And if we change them to large, ooh, wrong one. Oh, they're so big. So that's just kind of fun. Most people like them in medium. I like them in medium, but you can play around, see what you like. Uh, grid color. Now this is something you don't think is going to be very useful, but it, it can be very useful, especially if you spend long hours staring at documents. Uh, you get a couple different options under the preferences panel for what colors I find purple actually helps my eyes I don't know why but uh, we'll just leave it at light for now so simulate colored paper if you know that your project is going to be printed on color paper this will help with the blending of colors to show you what it'll probably look like okay now what is this down here it doesn't really tell you but whenever the transparency is flattened it will be flattened at a certain resolution. It's a good idea to set this to high resolution for final output of images. And you can be very specific if you want to in here. Okay, now to type options. The main thing you want to worry about is right down here. Export. Preserve text appearance or preserve text editability. And what Preserve text appearance will do is it'll convert all the text to outlines. Now this will make it so that you can edit it later, but it'll usually be better for printing and things like that. As far as uh, these options right here, you can play around with them, but they're kind of proven, you know, units that everybody uses. So, and then typographers quotes, which are the little curly quotes. Uh, you probably want to use them. Uh, it's best practices to use typographer quotes. And you'll see down here, um, the default is just a curly quote like I was talking about. But if you want a different kind of quote, you can set those there. And that's all you need to know about document setup. Uh, thanks for being awesome and check back.